Alright, what's going on guys? It's Chef. Back here on some new Call of Duty, and today we just ended up getting the Modern Warfare 3 Season 4 update, which has a whole new battle pass in it where you got this weapon called the Superi. Superi? It's uh, some kind of SMG, and then also, they ended up adding the Car 98K back into the game. The classic, old reliable. Car 98 is back, and uh, apparently it's actually very, very nice over in Warzone. It actually uh, one-shots to the head up to like 68 meters or something. Super nice. That won't get me to play Warzone again, but you know. Real quick though, I want to thank everybody for all the love and support on all of the videos recently with like multiverses and x defiant and cod and elden ring and sekiro and all that stuff just thank you guys so much for all the love and support and also if you're new here subscribe i upload basically every single day over the past couple weeks we've been getting a ton of information and leaks and official news leaks uh new games leaks for those games official stuff everything if my game looks weird i apologize it's because i have to zoom in a little bit because nvidia's drivers the past i don't know month or so have just been absolutely horrible there's a whole bunch of different bugs with like the full screen modes and you can't record and the shadow play is broken it's so bad but this is a car 98 right here it's uh i mean the classic pretty much looks the same exact way it always has uh the scope might be a little bit different though but i don't even have it unlocked so no it's weird this is reminding me of the uh m44 feels pretty good i wasn't expecting it to feel bad or anything but you know i haven't played in a bit this game feels super weird to play an x defiant anyway a whole bunch of stuff ended up leaking for uh black ops 6 holy shit the aim assist feels crazy movement feels so weird with the tax sprint i'm so i didn't realize i got that used to x defiant that quickly my slide canceling's all messed up the way that i'm doing it. i'm not used to having the tax sprint in there a lot of people have been discussing whether or not tax sprint will be in the next black ops or not as a discussion i, I said this in my other video where i was talking about that omnidirectional movement rumor or whatever i, I imagine that a game that has omnidirectional movement will absolutely have tax sprint and probably all of the other things that we know in terms of movement i'm imagining that this game is going to be literally everything that you could possibly do on a boots on the ground uh movement call of duty i'm imagining you could do a whole lot i'm imagining there's tax sprinting i'm imagining that there's diving and shit now obviously this is just based off of the idea that this is just omnidirectional movement i can't imagine that with omnidirectional movement they're going to make it so you can do less does that make sense if it's a game all about like maximizing movement and everything then why would would they take away uh tax printing and stuff i'd be very surprised if they took away tax printing i mean it's a possibility they definitely could it's their game obviously i mean they could do what they want but it feels so weird coming from x defiant with uh slide canceling and stuff also the bunny hopping is like way different though because bunny hopping in this game is pretty much non-existent i mean you could try to do it but like you don't keep any momentum or anything the usual reason why you would keep bunny hopping black ops 6 got confirmed for last gen and a lot of people seem upset by that but honestly i'm not really surprised apparently like damn near half of playstation players are still on ps4 and not ps5 so from a money standpoint it makes a whole lot of sense for them to not cut them off i see a whole lot of people like saying oh man just cut them all off they've had years to go and buy this stuff i mean i don't know what to tell you but we're not gonna abandon all of those people it's just not gonna happen now if say that percentage was down more towards like 30 percent or so then i could totally see them weighing their options but uh, you know 40 50 percent it's still too high for them they don't want to miss out on that so they're developing it for that now while it is true that we potentially do get less quality games because of them basically holding themselves back to make a game uh, operational on such an older system. I still can't imagine that the game would be that much better. In, in what kind of way, I don't even know. If it was just exclusively for current gen and onward. I don't see how that would necessarily make the game uh, better. It all comes down to the design and everything anyway. Maybe some fidelity type of stuff, but that's it. So Frank Woods from the Black Ops series is back. Uh, again, I'm not a huge fan of like all the campaign things. I don't really care too much about the characters. I'm going to be honest, I really don't. I don't really give a shit about Ghost. I don't give a shit about Price. I don't really give a shit about any of those characters. I don't care about Woods. I don't care about Mason. I don't care about Adler. Characters just aren't really that deep to me. So like, they're just typical action characters, if that makes sense. There's nothing really super compelling about them for me. And I'm not even trying to talk shit. I'm just saying like, that's just how it is for me. They ended up releasing this live action trailer for Black Ops 6. Like a live action teaser trailer or something. I also saw rumors that there was going to be like some sort of controversial uh, mission, kind of similar to like No Russian and all that shit. And a lot of people seem to get really excited whenever these like, controversial missions are teased. But to me, that doesn't guarantee that the game is going to be good. Like, I don't give a shit if there's a controversial mission or whatever. Like, yeah, there's that shock factor or whatever, but like, that's it. Like, it doesn't necessarily make the game better. It doesn't balance the game any better. It might make the campaign a little bit more interesting to play through, but past that, once you're done with the campaign, now what? It just doesn't necessarily matter to me. So, because I'm seeing people claim that the game... Oh, man. This game is going to be amazing. They got a mission where something controversial really happened. Call of Duty is going to be all over the news now. Yeah, but does sniping fucking suck? 
How's the camo grind? I don't give a shit about all that. It doesn't make the game inherently better to play. It just does. Also, a bunch of Black Ops 6 stuff started leaking as well. Uh, apparently, they got the Vault Edition pre-order bonuses leaked, so you can see different weapons and stuff. Now, the thing is, people don't necessarily know what the weapons are, but you can see them yourselves if you go and look over at, like, Charlie Intel's Twitter, for example. There's a sniper rifle, what looks like an SMG, an assault rifle, some kind of knife, and a shotgun. Pretty much everything except, like, a pistol and, like, an LMG or something. I don't really know how I feel about the overall aesthetic of the weapons, though. Like, they are pre-order bonuses. Bonuses. Obviously, they got their own specific style to them or whatever, and I mean, this style is definitely cooler than, you know, the usual shit, but at the same time, the pre-order bonuses actually kind of look like zombie stuff. Like, I, I guess that they're just supposed to be zombies based, and maybe zombies and stuff like that is, like, a huge part of, like, just the general game, but, like, even in multiplayer, I, I don't know. They got, like, this very zombies look to it, where they got, like, the either or either or whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's, like, electricity coming off of them and everything. Oh, man, the one-shot range on this car 98 is actually beautiful. This gun is so good. I'm expecting expecting hit markers because I'm playing X-Defy it. I don't know if I'm allowed to show the images, so my description of it is just kind of weird, but they literally look like zombies weapons. So you got classic woods, zombies woods, and numbers woods. You got the standard edition, which is a usual cross-gen bundle thing. Then you got the vault edition that gives you like the black cell and the usual stuff along with all of those, uh, you know, blueprints and stuff. Probably also going to give you a whole bunch of like uh, attachments and stuff like that on top of that. Usually the builds are not that amazing, so. And also there might be some operators as well. They all look like they're zombies based though, so... I don't know. Very, very heavy zombies based thing. So, I mean, if I'm a zombies fan, which I mean, since Cold War, I I know that a lot of zombies, OG zombies fans are going to cringe at that, but Cold War actually gave me an interest in zombies because I did not have an interest in zombies before that. I know a whole bunch of people are going to be screaming at me. What about Black Ops 3? But I just did not play Black Ops 3 zombies like that. I've been offered to. There's a whole bunch of mods and stuff like that. I absolutely understand like the appeal of it. I just wasn't in it during its peak. But Cold War was really um, beginner friendly as somebody that didn't know how to solve the da vinci code in order to do this easter egg and progress further into the maps i didn't know how to do any of that in the zombies mode i played the early zombie stuff and then once all the easter eggs and stuff came i quit whereas ironically that's where a lot of people started playing i didn't feel like trying to solve that i didn't care about any of the uh easter eggs and stuff and to be honest with you i really don't care about them now i just want a good gameplay loop in zombies that's fun and i just want to literally hunker down and try to survive for a hundred rounds. That's all I ever want to do in zombies. I don't care about a storyline. I don't care about doing any of that kind of stuff. Now, the people that do enjoy that stuff, you're eating. But me personally, I don't care. Is this a normal car 98 scope? It is. Oh man, this thing is so gorgeous. Oh, the reticle and everything. It's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, if you want to see all that zombie stuff, I, I just don't know if I can... Well, it's not even zombie stuff. It's regular stuff. But if you want to see all that stuff, go and check out Charlie Intel's Twitter and anybody else that he has tagged or whatever. But looks good, especially from the zombies point of view. We know that we got uh, round-based stuff coming back. Now, I don't think that there's going to be a crew. It's seems like from that one gameplay trailer not even trailer it's not a gameplay trailer it was like that little sneak peek that one character in like a red jacket with a uh, blonde hair running and then they ended up slash shooting into a crowd of zombies it was straight up like one second of zombies gameplay it's very obviously zombies um and it doesn't seem like it's a crew could be wrong though who knows maybe that red jacket character is you know cross multiplayer and zombies and they happen to be a part of the crew too i i don't know but it's probably going to be an operator thing that's probably a bad thing for a lot of the uh people that really enjoy the zombies lore people seem to really enjoy the whenever they have like a set crew of characters that have like their own lore and stories behind them and stuff instead of just boring operators with really no story behind them no interaction no uh you know banter or anything between the characters with that said though i'm still actually really hyped for this new black eye now apparently they actually ended up reducing the overall footstep uh audio in this game because they tried to make other uh options to get people to stop using the covert sneakers but as you can see on every single one of my class i have covert sneakers on they said that they basically uh tried their best to get people to stop using covert sneakers and every single thing that they've tried so far has completely failed so they've reduced the overall audio on footsteps without covert sneakers to try to get people to try to use something else i'm like dumbfounded see and again i still get that weird bug where i can't sprint anymore look I'm clicking my sprint button and it won't let me. Even my jump gets delayed. At first, I thought it was like a controller issue. Then I got a new controller and it was still happening. Then I assumed maybe it was just a controller issue again somehow. Maybe I was doing something wrong. But no, this is only happening in Call of Duty. Randomly, I like, I can't jump. I can't tax sprint. I can't do anything. My character is just like stuck walking just like that. That doesn't happen to me on X Defiant or any other game for that matter where it just won't let me input anymore. People talk about how bad X Defiant feels. Call of Duty has issues. Call of Duty definitely does not feel perfect. It has its own issues, that's for sure. I also 
also just unlocked Banana Guard over on Multiverses, so I'm definitely gonna try them out today. I can't imagine they'll be too bad. Even the worst characters in the game, they should always at least stand a chance. I also got my footing with Jason, so I kind of figured it out. I figured out what he is good at, what he isn't good at, the way that I want to approach players or have them approach me. A lot of people are talking about, like, the slowness and, oh, we're shooting bodies in Call of Duty, too. Interesting. I run you on COD, I run you on X-Defined, I run you on Multiverses, I run you on MK, I run you on Tekken. I'm way better. It's so crazy. I only played, like, a week of X-Defined, and I'm not used to people being able to go pro now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm done playing. I'm done playing. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna upload tomorrow. Shit, what do you guys want? Do you want more Call of Duty, X Defiant, or Multiverses? Let me know down in the comment section. And uh, yeah, it's been Jeb, guys. It is a good time to be gaming.